By far, one of the biggest questions I get on my channel is compatibility questions. Can you run the SRAM cassette with the Dura Ace derailleur and chain? Can you run an 11 speed chain with the 12 speed derailleur and cassette? And vice versa. So, we're going to be testing the cassette with the chain. Also, another huge question I get can the Dura, can the 9100 chain rings go on the 9200 crank. I'm gonna show you that. Let's talk about the three bikes that we're working with today. I have my wife's Amanda with the SRAM Red ETAP axis on it. I have my Amanda with the 12 speed Durace 9270 and I have my Trek Speed Concept. It's kind of a Frankenstein bike because I have an Altegra, an 8000 derailleur, I have a 9070 front derailleur and Altegra TT shifters. It's all DI2, but it is 11 speed. What I'm gonna do is first put everything on the stand and then see how it sounds. And then if it seems like it's working, cause some of this stuff will work. I'll then put it on the trainer because I don't wanna put it under, under load uh, if I can screw up my components. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna put the SRAM cassette on the 12 speed Dura Ace. Let's go. No, doesn't want to get into that last gear. Let's get it on the trainer and see what it feels like. Right now it seems like it's shifting. It seems like it would work, but it doesn't seem like it works as well as the Shimano cassette. I'm gonna get on the trainer. Let's see what it feels like. The shifting seems to work pretty well, but I notice it lags on a couple shifts going up and down, which tells me it's not an adjustment problem because if it's lagging going down and lagging going up, that's obviously a shifting issue. If it was only lagging going down, I could adjust it up and then it would center it off but the fact that it's lagging going up and going down shows me that it could be a design issue on the cassette. Obviously on the Shimano cassette, it has Hyperglide Plus with these cutouts and the, the SRAM cassette doesn't have that. Let me show you the lag I'm talking about. You can see here as I try and shift down into the 10 tooth cog right there, there's a lag, it won't even go in. Now as we move up, you can see there's a lag going up into that gear. So in my opinion, it does not shift as well as the Shimano cassette. It's something you could use in a pinch, but I'm sure that this would wear the chain out faster if used for long term. Now, let's put the SRAM chain on this current setup, which we have the 9270 derailleurs, the SRAM cassette. Let's see what happens if we put the SRAM chain on this setup. So you can see here, we got the SRAM chain on. All right, guys, before we go any further, I gotta say a few things. One, this is just to see what happens. Obviously, this stuff could damage your bike if you run it long term. You're not supposed to mix and match this stuff. This is just to see what happens to show you guys. But obviously, this is not to manufacture a spec. Doing this long term could damage your bike. I'm just kind of, I wanted to see what happens and I wanted to show you, but I do not recommend in any way running this stuff on your bike because you could damage your bike. Obviously this test, I'm not, you know, I would need to ride the bike for a week and really fine tune the derailleurs. We're not even testing the front derailleur, but I just wanted to see how this would shift, what it would look like just to give you an idea. But like I said, I gotta make this really clear. I do not recommend running a different chain, a different cassette. The only thing you can get away with is running the 11 speed chain ring on the 12 speed chain. And we're gonna talk about that in a bit. Let's see how this SRAM chain shifts on this setup. And then we're gonna talk about the front chain ring. All right, let's see. All right, now we're going up into big ring.
but we're still having that lag on the upshift in the same gear. It still shifts, it still works. Before we talk about the front chain ring, I'm gonna put this bike up on the stand. I wanna see what happens when we put the 11 speed chain on the 12 speed Dura-Ace cassette with the 12 speed Dura-Ace derailleur. I know that you're not supposed to do this, but I'm just curious to see what happens. Here is the 11 speed chain. Let's put it on and see how this goes. We got the 11 speed chain on, and again, don't do this at home. If you put any load under this, erode your bike around for any amount of time with 11 speed chain on a 12 speed cassette and derailleur, it will ruin the jockey wheels, it'll ruin the cassette. The reason it would ruin your system if you ran it over time is because the chain is thicker. The plates are thicker and it just, what doesn't have enough room to run through the gears and we're gonna see maybe maybe it won't even shift it actually does work interesting but listen to that okay now we're in big ring so it does shift but it is jumping gears see it does it's not shifting there i downshifted it's just hanging skips two gears so it does shift. You can hear it's louder, but it's just, it's skipping gears. It's not shifting when it's supposed to. It's lagging. So there you go. Now let's chat about the front chain ring. Here is the 9200 crank. You can see here, 9200. This is the 9100 chain ring. I do not have any 9200 chain rings, but let me show you what happens when you try and put this on so you can see here that these cutouts are completely different and it won't even fit in so uh, these these this chain ring they won't go in the biggest question i get is can you put the 9200 chain rings on the 9100 quark let's take a look so i have the 9100 quark here i don't have the 9200 chain rings with me but as you can see they are cut out completely different. And the reason it won't fit is this cutout right here. So you can see right here, this cutout, which is the same as this cutout. And they're a completely different shape. And the fact that these chain rings, as you can see, these pop right in. But with the Dura-Ace crank, not even close. I can't even, and the, diff the reason is you can see these cutouts here. These, it looks like these top two are the same. The bottom two are completely different and you can see the shape here is completely different. So they won't fit. You can run the 9100 cranks on the 9200 system without any issue. Now guys, there's obviously a lot of left, a lot, a lot that I left out of this video, the brakes, um, and that's a huge job, cross checking the brakes, the 9100 brakes with the 9200 shifters and vice versa. And then also testing everything on the SRAM side. Can you run the Shimano cassette on the SRAM derailleurs, Shimano chain on the SRAM derailleurs, etc. We're only focusing on the, the Shimano in this video and the front chain rings because those were the biggest questions that I got. If you wanna see more of this, hit me up in the comments and let me know. But biggest takeaway from this guys is the only thing that you can run on your 9200 system is the 9100 chain rings. Nothing else is compatible. I wouldn't try running anything different. And if you check out some of the pros in the world tour, that's what they're doing. They have their old power meter, the old Shimano power meter, the 9100 chain rings on the 9200 system. That's the only thing that you can run on this system without prematurely wearing out the parts. And the reason is these chain rings are identical. And if you check out my other video where I compare the chain rings, you can see that, but trust me, I get tons of questions. Can I run an 11 speed chain with a 12 speed cassette? No. Can I run my old derailleur with a 12 speed cassette? No. Can I run my old shifters, my 11 speed shifters with my 12 speed 
Derailers, no. And you won't be able to. Uh, you can with the satellite shifters. I haven't done myself, but apparently with these satellite shifters up here, the remote shifters, you can run the 9100s with the 92 setup. That's, that's their only buttons though. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I'll see you on the next video. Leave me a comment. Let me know what you guys want to see. Love you guys. I'll see you on the next video. I'll see you soon. Bye.